Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you today? Um, today, like a little. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, teacher. Oh my God, I didn't remember. You told me to 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 see if I I could see the the the, the diploma, the certificate. Oh my God, I I forgot it. Sorry. No Sorry. problem. I understand that you have probably do or probably did a lot of things today, so no problem. I yeah. understand that. Yeah. No. No. But after the class, I will do it. I promise you. Okay. No problem. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Basilia. Teacher, I see the certificate. Um, I don't know the, the day is correct. Um, 27 July on finish 30, 30 August is correct. Okay, just let me ask that because I'm not really sure if that's the date you should have on the certificate. So let me confirm that because as you remember, we started the class on the, do you remember the date we start? No, right. Neither do no. I. No. Yeah, so. We began um, 14, I suppose, for 14 yeah. of July. Yeah, something like that, right? It was on the 14th. Mm -hmm. So it was not on the it was not on the 29th. So um let me write that down. So I'm gonna take notes of that so I can ask later on. What's the date, Basilia? You said uh 27 uh -huh. and and finish 30 August. Okay, 27 July to the 30th. All right. So I already take notes of that. So I'm going to ask for that, okay? So um, welcome to the other ones that are already here. Welcome once again to the class. It's so nice to see you. Well, pretty much, well, almost every single day, same people is on time, right? So the other ones get connected like around eight, five or something like that. So we are nine already. So I hope you get a great day, guys. And um, so this is a new day, and today we're going to learn something, something like different for what we have been checking on the classes, like the grammar things and that. Today we're going to learn that, like something really simple, the type of questions we have in English and. Uh, had the way you need to create them and things like that. So it's not gonna be that complicated, okay? Let's see, no problem, Anayansi, it's okay. No problem, I understand that. So, but thank you so much for your commitment and for being here at the class, even though you are doing like some, you're working over there, so no, no problem for that. I understand that. So, um. Let me see, guys. Okay, for today, we have uh, the type of question. So just let me go ahead and start with the class because time is called. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and put the presentation here. All right. So now oh, for today, we're going to see the type of questions. Um, we have like different type of questions in English. So today we're going to see which are dates, all right? So first of all, as you know, we have uh, a meaning of, first of all, what a question is. So what's a question? Can you please, uh, let me see. Let's see. Any volunteer, so. My teacher, Karen. Okay, go ahead. 
An interrogative word or question word is a function word used to ask a question. They are sometimes called WH words because in English, most of them start with WH. Yeah, right. Thank you so much. All right. So as you can see over there, it says that in English, most of the time, we call them WH words. Oh, you, you could probably know them as WH questions, right? So, you know, uh, can you tell me any of them? Do you know some of them? Like, can you give me an example or something? Why, what, who, how? Like that, those are the most common we have. So here we have uh, some of them, right? So we have what, which, when, where, and who. Those are the most common WH words or WH questions we have in English. But today we're going, well, I'm going to give you like the different types. This is just in the general form, some examples that we have in English, but we will go one by one. And let me tell you that in the English language, we have uh, five type of questions. But for today, we're just going to see four of them because the other one is going to be like when you are getting to the next module. So first of all, we have the general questions. Then we have the alternative questions. We also have special questions and questions to the subject. Those are the ones that we have uh, or that we are going to see today. The last one, it is known as tag questions. Have you ever heard of tag questions? Yes. All yes, right. teacher. So for today, we're just going to see these four types. The tag question one is going to be for another class or probably this one is going to be for the next module because that's kind of complicated. You have to really know how do they work. And today we're just checking the general ones. So first of all, we are going to go with the general questions. I will give you like a meaning of each one of them. So you can have like an idea of what is that going to be. All right, so for these ones, I will need some help. I will ask Sandra for the first one. Vasilia with the second one, Jenny with the third one, and Katya with the fourth one. Okay, so please go ahead. Okay, um, general, uh, general question is put to the general meaning of the sentence and begins with auxiliary and moral verbs. All right, thank you. Number two. Alternative question. Begin with an auxiliary verb plus or thank you number three a special question start with a question word perfect and the last one question to the subject if who which or what are the subjects or the question perfect so those are like kind of the meanings that we have for them it is just general information for you to know what are they? So we're going to see checking, or we're going to go one by one. First of all, we are going to go with the general questions. For the general questions, here we have. There's a pattern or a formula that you need to follow in order for you to know, or in order for you to create these questions. So, I might need some help. Let me see. Let me ask the other ones. So, Eunice, you are going to help me with uh, the with the formula and with the questions with to be. Okay, um, Stephanie Ramirez, you are going to help me with the questions in the press and the present simple and. Uh, Carla Lima, you're going to help me with the past simple. Let me see. And um, 
Claudia Rivas, you're going to help me with the future simple. Okay. And uh, let me see, Elizabeth Lopez, you will do the last ones. Okay, so in order, please, go ahead. Okay, the formula is auxiliar and model verb plus subject plus object plus complement and plus the question mark. Question and mark. the examples are to be is the auxiliar and the examples are I am at work, is she a nurse, are you at home? <coughs> Very good. So how do you pronounce the, the verb before I? Eunice, can you repeat that again? Um, I. No, we say M, M I. M I. M -I. Or uh, if you're talking fast, you can say M I. M I. All right, so thank you. Thank uh, you. The next one with this present simple, go ahead. Okay, the simple present formula is auxiliary do or does, subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Okay. And the examples are, do you discuss difficult grammar rules at school? Does she take care of her little kitten? Very good, thank you so much. The next one. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Um, who are you, by the way? I cannot see. Who you are. Oh, no, you're Claudia, right? Yo, Claudia. Cute so, simple. Oh, so, so who did I say that it was for simple past or, or past simple? I. I it was a but simple. No. All right. So go ahead and do it for the simple pass or pass simple. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Did you did you take a picture of Lazar in the so last week? Did you take a picture of the of a Lazar <laughs> in the zoo last week? So thank you. Uh, let me see. Let me ask someone else. Um, Future is simple. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Um, so go, Joaquin, are you here in the class? I cannot see. <laughs> oh, yes. You're there. Okay. I see you. Okay. Can you help me with the future simple, please? Will Mary arrange a picnic for her friends tomorrow? Okay, Karen, thank you. So I'm sorry, Hockey. So, so um, what I need you to understand about this, guys, is the formula or the structure that you need to follow in order to create these type of questions. What are these questions? What are they? What type of questions are they? Those are general questions. General questions, all right? So as you can see for the verb B, that's an auxiliar on the simple present or present simple, we use that auxiliar do and does. Obviously for the simple past, we use did, and the verb needs to go in like in present, in the base form, okay? So uh, who was going to help me with, uh, with the last one? Who was going to help me with that? May I? Oh, yes, go ahead, because probably the person I said for already forgot. <sighs> oh, but if, if she is, is present, I would like that she do it. So I don't she know. She does it. Okay, so anyway. Yes, go okay. ahead. Okay, can, can, can you give me some advice? May, may I close the window? 
must. Must I do this exercise? All right. Thank you so much. So when we use the model verb may, uh, followed by the subject or the pronoun I, when you're talking very fast, you can say may I, right? May I close the window? But if you're speaking like very slow and because you cannot articulate words that well, you can say, may I separate? But if you know that you can speak a little bit faster or faster, you can say like, may I, that, that quick, all right? So you can use both of them, all right? So is there any question with the general um, questions? I think it is clear, right? There's no that much. It is, it is clear, teacher, thank so, you. So today we're going to go with the alternative questions or most commonly know as the question of choice. Why? Because in this one, we will, we will have like two objects or two things between the ones we're going to have to take a decision, right? That's why we call them alternative questions or questions of choice, all right? So in this one, we also have a formula or an structure that we need to follow in order to create them. So we have, first of all, an auxiliary or model verb, a subject, an object, maybe an, a complement, then the word, or, and then another complement or another thing those two things that we're going to decide on, and the last part, the question mark, okay? So, here we have, let me see, let me ask someone else. So, Katia, can you help me with the, with the two B ones? Basilia, can you also help me with the present simple or simple present? And I will request Joaquin help me with the simple past or passive. All right, so go ahead, guys. Okay, to be, am I at work or at home? Is she a nurse or a driver? Are you at home or at school? Thank you. Okay, um, I- You can see. Yes, just give me a moment, Basilia. So I have heard that some of you guys keep on saying, when, when you're trying to say ella, you say chi. But in English, when it comes to pronunciate that object pronoun, uh, I'm sorry, that pronoun, we do not say chi. We say she, like air going through your teeth. Because if you say chi, it's not that well articulated. So it's like when you go to arrear los pollos, like sh -sh -sh, like that, that same air like air going through your teeth, right? So you say she, all right? Thank you. Okay, Basilia, go ahead. Present and simple. Do you discuss difficult or easy grammar rules at the school? Does Mary or Dina take care of the little key kitten? All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Joaquin. Joaquin, hello. Oh, he said that it's raining, so he cannot listen to us. So I'm going to need, uh, let me see, Elizabeth Lopez. So can you help me with, uh, with the next point? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Ouch. Uh, Pat Simple. Mm -hmm. Did you take a picture of Alisa in the show or in the country last week? Okay. So, did you take a picture of Alisa in the zoo or in the, on the what it says, in the country last week? So, thank you. Stephanie Roxana, can you help me with the next one, please? 
Okay, the next one is the jersey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry what did you say? Future simple. Oh yeah, that's that one. Mm -hmm. Will Mary arrange a picnic for her friends tomorrow or next Saturday? All right, thank you so much. And uh, let me see who else is going to help me with that. Uh, Sandra, please help me with that, if you don't mind. Can you drive a car or a motorbike? May I close the window or the door? Must I read or, or learn the poem? Thank you so much. Okay, so in these ones, we call them alternative questions or questions of choice because we are we will have at the end of that question to, to get a decision between two things. For example, in the first one with the verb B that it says, am I at work or at home? You could ask yourself that question, right? Like, am I at work or at home? At the end of the day, or the answer for that question will be, I am at work or I am at home. But at the end, you will have to make a decision between these two things, right? That's why we call them uh, alternative questions or question of choice, because we will have to decide between two things. So, uh, no questions, right? So we can go ahead to the next one. So let me see. No questions. So we're going to go right now to the special questions. And these mm -hmm. special questions, we will have uh, like a very different formula or a very different structure that we need to follow. In the first place, we are going to need the interrogative words or the WH questions that we already know, right? And auxiliary or model verbs, subject, object, complement, and a question mark. That is gonna be the, the structure or the formula that you need to follow. As okay. you can see <laughs> at the, in the middle of the, of the left, the left corner, yes, we have some WH questions over there. So we have when, where, what, which, why, who's, whom, how, how many, how much, and how long, okay? Do you know how to use them all? You don't know how to use them all? Uh, only whom. 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 Whom, it's the same as if you say who. Oh. But the difference between who and whom is that who is like it is formal, but like like we use it in the in the daily basis. But whom it, it is used when you're going to write something very formal, like a letter for your job, like you're going to have a presentation with people who has like a different social status, like diplomatic language. You know what I'm saying? It's like very diplomatic language, whom? In, but it has the same meaning as who. It's the same meaning, okay? So. All right. May I teach you? Yes, go ahead, yes. Uh, because, uh, well, I, I knew that whom is used at the end, uh, to whom, whom? Uh, you are going to give this book to whom? Something like that, I don't know. That is also, it's, it's not necessarily at the end because if you're telling me that that's use, for example, if you said, to whom are you going to give this book? You're asking uh -huh. that question because you're trying to find out a direct object. We uh -huh. use it in that way when we are trying to find a direct object in a sentence. But for example, when you are writing a very formal letter for your job, you can say, to whom, to whom may concern, a quien concierna o a quien corresponda. Oh. That's oh, why yeah. we use it in a very, very formal way. 
Yes, to whom, to whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Cuando está, uh, when you're writing a letter and you want to say a quien corresponda, to whom may concern. Oh, good. O a quien le interese. A quien interese. Like, like that. That's the same okay. meaning. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Thank All you, right. teacher. All right, Thank no you. problem. So I, I might need some help as well. Eunice, I will ask you one more time with the verb be. Stephanie, Roxana, with the simple present. Stephanie, Stephanie Ramirez, is she here? Yes, right. So simple past. Uh, Liliana, if you can help me with the future. And, uh, well, let's see. Karen Melendez, you will help me with the last one. Okay. So go ahead, guys, in the same order I just told you. I can see you, but, uh, but I, I can hear that it's raining over there, Claudia. That's probably why you cannot hear me. Teacher, soy Claudia, no escucho porque está lloviendo y estoy en un predio eh, libre, al aire libre. Y está no. lloviendo super fuerte. No problem, Claudia. I can see you. I can see you and I can also hear the rain. So no problem. It's okay. So just pay attention, okay? No problem. I understand. No problem. No problem. We understand, okay? No problem. Thank you for letting us know, okay? So go ahead, the other ones. Okay, teacher, I have a question. What is the pronunciation, the number fifth? I forgot it, the pronunciation, sorry. The, the, the what? The, the first one, the first sentence. Am I? Okay. Um, where, I say, where the, am, I? Am, am I, am I? Okay, it's up to you, okay? Okay, okay. Um, I say the structure. No, 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 it's okay. Just help me with the uh, with, uh, examples, okay? Okay, to be, where I am? No, 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 where am I? Where am I? <laughs> where am I? Where is she? Where are you? Okay, perfect. Okay, simple present. Simple present. What rules do you discuss at school? What does she take care of? Whom did you invite to the party? Okay, perfect. So the next one. Simple fact. When did you take a picture of a lizard in the zoo? Perfect. The next one. Who's the next one? Simple. Me, me, me. Okay, go ahead. Simple picture. We will Mary arrange a picnic for her friends tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you so much. Who's a uh, mother bird? Whose book can I take? Where may I close the window? Why must I do this exercise? Perfect. So guys, let me ask you this question. Most of the time I have noticed that, well, as you may know, we do not use that commonly whose, the WH question whose is not that commonly used. So let me ask you, every one of you, do you know how do you, need, how do you create questions with whose and what does that mean or the way you have to use it? Do you know that? Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, who's is for asking people uh, if they if they belong something? They belong. Uh, si ellos, uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, about belongings, you know. Uh, the king is esto. The king is aquello. Exactly. That is okay. Thank you. So the other ones. Do you know how to use it? Yes. Entonces el whose que está ahí en la última de whose book can I take es como quien dice este de quién es el, el libro que puedo agarrar algo así vendría siendo. 
Exactly. Exactly like that. ¿De quién es el libro que puedo tomar o que puedo agarrar? ¿De quién es el libro? Remember that whose means the quién, like asking for belongings. Mm -hmm. That's it. So no questions at all, guys. So we can continue with that. No okay. questions, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's continue with this. And we go to the last ones that are questions to the subject. Okay, so, and these ones, most of the time we are going to use the WH question who, because as you can see there on the first part, see, questions to the subject, it, 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 we call it in that way because we are trying to know who or we're trying to know the that person that is doing the action or who is making something. So we are trying to find that out, okay? So uh, I will also need some help. So now it's gonna be a volunteer, any volunteer. So I'm not gonna ask, I'm not gonna point anyone. So it's gonna be volunteer. Basilia. Okay, Basilia, thank you so much for helping me. So go ahead. To be, who is at work? Who is a nurse? Who is at home? Ask question in the third per in the third singular person. Very good. Thank you so much. Who wants to help me with a simple present? Volunteer. Oh, Stephanie me, Ramirez. Oh, oh. Okay, so Araceli, you can help me with the next one. Okay, Stephanie Ramirez. Go ahead. In a simple present, who discusses difficult grammar rules at school? Who takes care of her little kitten? Ask question in the third singular person. Don't use auxiliary verbs. Okay, something very important that you have to notice over here. We are not using any auxiliary or any model verb on this one. You gotta be really careful with this. As you can notice as well, that's why I put you like, uh, like some big letters over there, because as you know, when we are making questions with who, like in this case, uh, like questions to the subject, these ones, you will need to modify the verb. Why? Because the WH question word, it is taken as a third person. And as you already know, when we have the third person, we will always need to modify the verb. So that will make sense grammatically, all right? So I just wanted uh, to clarify that, okay? So Sandra, help me with the next one, please. Okay, past tense. Who took a picture of a lizard in the zoo last week? Um, auxiliary, auxiliary verb, not needed, but the semantic where must stand in the past tense. All right, so uh, as, as the number two said, it's not necessary to use an auxiliary over here. But for example, when we're talking about the past, it is also very important that you notice that as long as uh, we are not using the auxiliary did, so the verb or the main verb is gonna be in the past, okay? That's it. Yeah. So Eunice, help me with the next one, please. Future simple. Who will arrange a picnic for her friends tomorrow? Okay, as you can see here, we changed a little bit. Why? Because when we are talking about the future, we need to add the word will. And what is will? What is it? We already saw yeah. that. What is that? It is the future, right? That's very, very easy. It's the future, but will belongs to something, to any topic that we already saw. Who can tell me that? Yeah. <clears throat> model auxiliary. Model auxiliary model or model verb, okay? Model so verb. will 
it is future, but it also belongs to the modal verbs, okay? As you can see here for the yeah. future and only in the future and with the modal verbs, we are going to use them. And this one, just for the future and using the modal verbs. And the other ones like it with the verb be, with the simple present and with the past, is not necessary to use an auxiliary. Yes? Okay. Yeah. So um, let me see. Let me ask someone else. Ricardo Mancilla, can you help me with the last one? Uh, with can, may, and must, or yes. future simple? No, 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 the last one. Okay. Uh, who can give me some advice? Uh, who may close the window? And who must do this exercise? Okay, very good. So, uh, no questions, guys. No questions at this moment? Everything is clear? Uh, you can you you can tell me what is the means to arrange in the future future simple. Hey, that's yes, arrange that's arreglar or preparar. Like in this one, uh, like in the future simple sentence, it says, "Who will arrange a picnic? Quién arreglará o quién preparará un picnic para sus amigos?" Eh, pero Esa, esa palabra es lo mismo que decir reparar algo roto, por ejemplo, o no, solo no. se usa para... No, no, no. That's when, when you're talking about that context, that is fixed. When you are touching, for example, I have my phone here and I want to fix that. Yeah, I want to fix it. That's the verb because I'm touching my phone, right? I'm touching it and I want to fix it. But when it comes to something like an activity, that you cannot touch, like something no touchable. Let's say it like that. So that's the verb arrange, like arrange an appointment or something like that. Do you understand the context? Yes, yes. All right. So any other question, guys? You need a yes or no if you understood something, so let me know. Does any of you know, guys, what a lizard is? Teacher, oh. I, I have a question. Okay. The cool. question of the subject is begin who? Who? That's right. Okay. okay. So what's a lizard? A lizard? is a um, lagartija. Like that. We call it lagartija. That is a lagartija, Joaquin. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if there's no questions, guys, we're going to go to the next part. And this is the practice part. Okay. So once again, I will request you to take a picture of that because you're going to be working in teams. All right. And also, the instruction is not here. So you will need to work on these 10 sentences or questions. And you will also need to create one example, each one, but your own examples, okay? Like personal examples, okay? Okay. Furthermore, this exercise, all right? So let me go ahead and break scene. Let's see. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm about to create a breakout room. So please go ahead and try to do that. <coughs> and also try to practice your English over there.
Carla Lima, what's going on? Are you there? Carla? Hello? Take a minute, take a minute. Oh, I think that someone said, sense. yes. Well, we got it. And in the number one, I think the answer is who. Who sit, sit, sit. <laughs> Sorry, who sit, I, I don't remember how the pronunciation of the, this verb, sit, 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 next to where? And the number one is who? One, the, 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 the word we can is use the, is, the, can you? We use yeah, can you sit next to Frank? Sorry. Please, only one. <laughs> Speak only one. <laughs> Let's. We use the clear, the auxiliary auxiliary in this case. No, no, not exactly. Because the number one is who sits next to Frank. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Something like that. I don't know. Well, number two. Yes. Number two is. Where does the boy come from? He's okay. from New, New, Newcastle. Oh my God. New Newcastle. Newcastle. It's, it's Clara, right? Yeah. And this, uh, Clara is sits next to Frank. Yes, it's general question. General question. Yes. From 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 He's from Newcastle. What is the special yes, question? The question. Where where does where? Uh, special question. Yeah. Okay. Stephanie Roxana, hello. Hi, teacher. I'm here, but I'm I'm getting problems with the audio right now. Okay, no problem. Okay, I understand. I just wanted to be sure that you were there. I do. Okay, no problem. Hola. Uh, what? What does the restaurant open? Sí. Um, what? Uh, number 10. Is... The... Can I get some ice cream? You can, you can get some the at the that, snack bar. Where? Where? where yes. Where? where can I get? See. Where can I get some ice cream? You can get some at the snack bar. And the night question. 
Um, maybe is uh, special because uh, the beginning published words because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, by auxiliary does. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. it's special. Is Charlie participating, girl? Is he participating? Charlie. Is he participating or helping you or not? Mm. Charlie, what does the restaurant? Are you about to finish or you still need more time? We need more time. Okay, remember that you need to create one question by yourself, like a personal question. That will be your personal example, okay? You will also will need to create that, okay, for you. Okay, okay, teacher. I change. What are you? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we can. Oh my God, we have to, we have to, to make the sentence. How many sentences, teacher, do we have to do? No, no, we have to do one, oh. like one personal example. Just one? Just one. <laughs> Okay. Hey, you guys, only one, one sentence, but personal one, okay? We create one sentence. Mm -hmm. One we have sentence, to one. like personal sentence. So you already finished uh, the practice, like the 10 sentence questions, some sorry, you already did it? Yes, we finished. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. I know it is correct. But the teacher says it's the informal way. The what? Okay. Did I say? The say me too. The what? Can you repeat that? Say me too. Oh, me too. That's uh, an informal way to say me too, but um, I mean, people can understand you, what you're saying, but like um, you can speak in that way between you, but when it comes to speaking with someone native from the language, you can also use it, but you, you gotta know that that's not, not very formal, but you can still use it. I mean, it's up to you. So, what will be the correct way to say it? Do you remember when we saw that class? No, sorry, I don't remember. Actually, I think I didn't um, be in that class. Oh, you were not in that class. All right. I couldn't. So, all right, no problem. So um, depending on the question someone is asking, or for example, if I say, I like, I like eating apples, and you can tell me, me too. I can understand that, but the, the right way to, to say that it could be so do I or I like I like them too because I said I like eating apples. So the, the like the professional way or the right way it could be I like them too or so do I. But the informal way it will be me too. Okay. That's fine. All right. So we are already finished. All right. So let me go back to the main session. So let's see. I think that everybody ready like finished. Closes. All right.
All right. So I think that uh, you already finished, right? So you did that pretty much it. So let me see. Let me pick someone of you, like randomly. Let me see. Reynaldo. I'm sorry, Reynaldo. But who was your, your partner? Who were you, who, who were you working with? I'm sorry. Reynaldo, are you there? Or can you hear me? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I don't remember who my partner is. Oh my God. Take was... the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was just- We, so we work, we work, but um, I don't remember. Por la, por la rapidez no tome el nombre, I'm sorry. Okay, who was? Me, me. Oh, ah, yes. You we, said you I'm see sorry. Jenny, he forgot you. Okay, he forgot you. All right. <laughs> okay, so Reynaldo, so uh it will be you will give me the five, the first five, and Jenny, you will give me the next ones. All right. So let me see what okay. you got. Go ahead. Uh only only as one. No, first it will be you, Reynaldo. The first five, one, two, three, four, five. That, that will be for you. Six, seven, eight, nine, okay, ten. Then, that will be for Jen. Okay. The number one is who sits next to Frank? Ask with Clara. Okay. And where where does the boy come from? He from Nest Castle. Newcastle. Number three? Newcastle. Uh, how old are the children? They are seven and 10. Number four, when is Spirit birthday? It's April, I think. And number five, how much, uh, number five, how much is the shirt? It's 20 pounds. Pounds, okay, very good. Pounds. So thank you. Okay. Uh... And six is who is best at playing tennis? It's both. Seven is um, who, who are you going? I am going to my friends. Mm. Uh, okay, so in number seven, it doesn't sound that well. If you said, who are you going? As you can see there, the answer, it says, I am going to my friends. It doesn't, does it sound correct for you? Does any one of the other group has it different? Uh, me teacher, what I think it's where, where I going where? to, where, where are I go you? Where are you going? I am going to my friends. Very good, Karen. So Jenny and number okay. seven, it is where, because you are trying to know okay. where is that person going, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Number eight. Uh, how, how, how much or how many is an orange juice? It's 50 pence. And can you repeat? Oh. Can you repeat what you said? Please. And your orange juice. Sorry? Can you repeat How that? Many? How many? How, How many? many? How many is orange juice? Oh. How? How? <laughs> How many? Okay. That's How eight. many is orange Much. juice? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Anyone of another group, do you have actually, something different? Um, actually, it could how be much? how much. How, how much. much? It will be how much because you're talking about how money, much. Right? Yes. All right. So it will be how much then? What? Okay. Uh, Nay, what, what does the yeah. restaurant open? Do, does any one of the another group have when. something different? When. 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 So, Jenny, in this one, it is when. when. Yes. 
the, oh. an, the answer it says it opens at six o'clock. So you're trying to know when. All right, know what? Okay. okay. Maybe you, um, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Can you say at uh, what time? At what time? Yes. That's right. Yes, at what time? Oh, that is possible. But why? Why we can use that? Because you have the word time before or after the WH question, what? So that gives you more an idea of at what time. But when you say the only what, that's not possible. Thank you so much for that, Carla. Very good. Uh, uh, I have a question. Uh, in this case, uh, bueno, como lo dijo la compañera, no sé cómo es el inglés, at what time, and we can use them in the context to an uh, in a specific situation or no. something like that? Okay, for example, in the same, in the same question over there, yeah. you see, uh, if we say when, when does the restaurant open? Cuando, right? Cuando abre el restaurante? It opens at six o'clock. Abre a las seis. Okay, but if I want okay. to know like the specific time, I can also use what time? At what time? Mm -hmm. What time does the restaurant open? So that, that will also give you the same idea. Okay. They are synonyms, okay? okay. Uh, en el caso de saber, digamos, algo sobre una situación que no sabemos a qué hora va a suceder, por ejemplo, si yo pregunto, eh, mira, ¿a qué hora podrías vos ir mañana a tal lugar? Va, por ejemplo, va. o sea, es una pregunta que abierta que no, no da algo específico porque depende de la respuesta de la otra persona. En este yeah. caso, sería de usar el at what time you can go in there, algo así. In, in this case, because you don't have like something very specific and when you ask what time, it is because you're giving a specific time. But in the case that you don't know at what time this person is going to be there, you don't have any idea of the time, you have to use when. So it makes like bigger, you have like, uh, you don't have a specific time. So in, in this case, you will have to use when, not what time, okay? Okay. All right, so number 10, Jenny, I'm sorry we interrupted. Where, where can I get some ice cream? You can get some at the snack bar. Okay, so now I'm going to, I will need just your examples, your personal examples. So it will be in the following order. Number one, Joaquin. Number two, Sandra. Number three, Eunice. Number four, Basilia. Number five, Karen. Number six, Ricardo. Number seven, Early. Number eight, Stephanie. Number nine, Claudia. Number 10, Liliana. Carla Lima, 11, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Stephanie Ramirez is going to be the last one. So go ahead. Number number one. No. Uh, in, you go. in this case, Joaquin, I, will, I just need your personal, your personal question. Information. Yeah, your okay. question. Just your personal question. Yes. Yes. What are you going to do tomorrow? Can you repeat that again? What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, very good. So Sandra, thank you so much for Okay. What were you doing yesterday morning while I was watching television? Okay, very good. Eunice. When is Karen's birthday? Can you repeat that again? Excuse me, excuse me. When is Karen's party? Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Basilia. And where did you leave your parents? Can you repeat that again? Where did you leave your, your parents? No, in that case, it will be where do your parents live? Where do okay. your parents live? Okay. Thank you so much, Karen Melendez.
that in. What is she drinking? What is she drinking? Okay, very good. Ricardo. Okay, um, who is, who's is the car to I drive it tonight? Can you repeat that again? Uh, whose is the car to I drive it? Uh, yesterday, era, not tonight, not yesterday. Okay, that that is not is not well well done. So it will be whose car am I driving or was I driving yesterday? Because if you're talking about yesterday, you cannot use is because that is present. So the order that you created is it was not correct. Maybe the idea you were trying to say was correct, but the grammatical order was not right. So it will be whose car was I driving yesterday? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Erling. Okay, what will we eat for dinner? What will we, we eat for dinner? That's good. Thank you so much, yes. Stephanie Roxana. How much is the t-shirt? How much is the t-shirt? Okay, very good, Claudia. Claudia, hello. Well, I think she's not there. It could be, it could be raining over there. So Liliana, go ahead. Who did you tell to? Who did you tell to? Okay, that's good. Very good. Um, Let me see. Uh, ¿Puedo? Yes, Claudia, go ahead. Who are you going to work? Can you repeat it again? Who are you going to work? Where are you going to work? Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Claudia. Carla Lima. How many years have you been working for this company? Around 10 years. All right, that was very good. A very good pronunciation, Carla. All right, so um, let me see. Stephanie Ramirez. Where are you going on the next vacation? Can you repeat it again? Where are you going on the next vacation? Very good. Okay, guys. So I think that the topic for today was really simple, like really easy, right? Really easy to understand. So thank you so much, Guy, for coming once again to the class. Do not forget to work on the platform if you haven't finished it yet. So if you haven't finished it yet, please... Yes, Joaquin. Teacher, are you going to share the presentation just the presentation and the, and right now? Oh, I I already shared that the the one from yesterday, didn't I? Yesterday. I didn't. Yesterday the presentation. Yes. I didn't. Didn't I? No. Yes. No. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> yes. All right, so I'm gonna send it today, uh, right now. So I, I will share with you the one from yesterday and this one as well, okay? Don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, okay. You. thank you very much. Okay, guys, uh, do not forget, as I was saying, to keep working on the platform. If you already finished, it's okay. Just relax, chill out, okay? But if you haven't, just try to do it because I don't know if you read the message that Elena sent you today through the group. She was saying that we are about to finish. So in order for you to go to the next model, you need to be completed the platform at least uh, at 80%. So um, I know that you are all intelligence and I know that you are uh, already doing it. So thank you so much guys for coming to the class. See you tomorrow for the same channel at the same time, okay? Goodbye and okay. Good night. 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 Good night.